okay it's here the simply good and beautiful math level two now if you've seen my curriculum picks video you'll have seen i've been going back and forth between master books and the new simply good and beautiful math and as you can see i have actually gone with the good and the beautiful to be honest i wanted to love their previous math but we didn't, it didn't fit for us, and we've been with master books ever since, and I've always been feeling like there's something missing, and I feel like this is what's missing. This course book, this colourful, fun math curriculum with its own math manipulatives in this handy box here. It's got the clock on the front as well, so that anytime there's um, a clock needed, they can move the hands on here. So that's really handy. I love that. Um, and I'll show you inside the math box now. So the lid slides off super easy. And then we've got American money. So all I'm going to do is take these out. I'll still keep hold of them because it's good for learning. But I'm going to fill this with our own coins. And I'm probably going to keep these in here and then use our... Um, English note money, play money again in here as well. And then we've got fraction dice here. And then a 10 sided dice here. These little tiles are double sided. So they've got numbers and then different colored and shaped stars. And then little game pieces down here that I'm guessing will be used in some of the games throughout the course. So it's a really simplified manipulatives box. There's not a ton of things in here. Um, the manipulatives, they have really stripped back on. I know that the box that they had before, um, the manipulatives were huge. There were so many. So they've clearly simplified that as well as, I believe, the lessons in here as well. So let's talk about the lessons. First, we've got the table of contents. So this course has a total of 120 lessons. I believe that the first, um, the original math had two whole books that were almost this sort of big as well. And now there's just this one book for the whole level. And as always, there's about the course and some handy questions and answers there if you need them. And then again, you've always get your unit overview. So this is the overview of unit one. Not a whole lot of extra supplies needed. That's always handy. And then this is just everything they're going to learn. So you can see that at a glance. And some tips there as well. So this is what I've seen is different. You start with lesson one and then there's straight away a little review box. So they just get you to do an activity. And from what I've heard and read and seen already, if the child has mastered what it's asking you to do in the review box, then you can just go ahead and skip it and move straight on to the lesson. Or if it's something that they need to practice, then you can do it. In the previous Good and the Beautiful Math, there was quite a lot to do before you even got to your lesson. So they definitely simplified this. And then we literally just jump into the lesson. So here they've put the base 10 manipulatives visually in a picture. So the child can see the hundreds, the tens, the ones as well and then I've had a read through this lesson already just to get an idea for it and basically they tap so it's asking how many hundreds are there in 112 so if there's 100 they tap the 100 once the 110 once and then the ones they tap twice so um I guess that's quite cool so this is still lesson one so they're working with big numbers and then there's a little um, a little bit about this girl here, and apparently she's featured a few more times throughout. And then this is the independent review section. So this is the part that they can do on their own. And they're just reviewing what they would have learned in level one. And obviously we didn't use level one, so I may sit and do the independent work with Miss Eight for a while until she feels confident. And then this is now level two. So the thing that I love about this in comparison with Masterbooks is just that it's colourful. So it's a bit more inviting, it's a bit more interesting straight away. She's already had a good look at this and just said, it looks so fun. And when she saw 
lots of different like games and different interesting pages she was like wow look there's this there's that she's just super excited so um and i love as well that there is let me see if i can find it here they are so i mean this math and yet we've got all the planets here they're all labeled beautifully illustrated so just learning so much in this course book it just doesn't strike me as boring math whatsoever everything is so much more interesting. I feel like it just puts math in the hands of the child as well. Instead of them just feeling like they're being talked at about math, it just kind of gives it to them and puts them in charge of math and helps them to see that it's fun, it's beautiful, it's in nature, it's everywhere around us and math is amazing. And that is one of the other reasons I wanted to go with The Good and the Beautiful for math, because they truly show how amazing math is. So it is a big course book, as you can see. But like I said, it's just this one course book for the year. And I think it's something like if you do four lessons a week, you'll complete it in a year. The other thing that I wanted to talk about was um, currency. So here, Obviously, it says 26 cents and um, 45 cents. I will literally just switch that for 26 pence, 45 pence, 15 pence. I'll probably even make that look like a little P just before we start the lesson. Same thing here. And when we come to a page with the coins, I will just literally get out our coins I'll make the value of one of these and they can circle whichever one I've made with our UK coins. So not at all hard to switch from the American to the UK coins. Um, I could even just cover this with a piece of paper and then stick the coins on top as well. Or even when there's a money section to the lesson, I can just take our coins and set up a mini activity. But to be honest, I'll probably just follow the guide of whatever it is they're teaching and then just use our UK coins. And speaking of the UK coins, I am literally just going to take these out, set them aside, and then I'm just going to pop our UK coins in here. So I've switched it around a little bit so that our UK notes can fit in there as well. And now it is the perfect manipulative box for us. today's look at simply good and beautiful math 2 we are going to be purchasing level one when it releases which is going to be released before august 2nd so we'll be definitely sharing a video of that one as well and i will of course do a do a lesson with us video on this course book as well let me know in the comments if you're using simply good and beautiful math 2 mm -hmm.